Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper. I have decided to try out my Blue Eyes deck against the Joey Wheeler. The Godfather of Games. That's right, let's do this. He thinks he can beat me in 11 turns. Well, that's going to be very possible if I go second, but since I'm going first, it's going to be way harder to win in 11 turns. Not saying he can't do it. Fairy Box could definitely do it. But let's see what you got. I think I drew two Drew Troop Dragons, which is the worst thing you could possibly do. Um, I don't know though. Let's find out. Troop Troop. Yeah, that's like the worst thing I could possibly do. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set one of those Troop Dragons, because I might end up killing it anyway with my Toriental Tribute. Depending on what Joey summons, because sometimes he likes to fuse on his first turn, and that usually requires me to murder him. No, 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 I don't mind that. I can beat that eventually. Even if my current cards can't beat it, I can beat it eventually. Plus, I get a Troop Dragon. Alright, Troop. Let's get you into position. Go to go in defense mode. There you go. I'll shuffle me deck. Uh, no, I don't want to activate. I was thinking, what, what, what can I activate? My own Toriental Tribute. No, I'm not going to do that. That sounds dumb. I'm going to draw Mountain. Ooh. With the Mountain, I could actually defeat some opponents, but not yet. I'm going to set my... Uh, I don't want to play it because Joey also plays Dragon Monster, so... I gotta make sure I have the advantage. Hey, speaking of which, I have to make sure I have the advantage before I go flopping around my mountain. Alright, another troop dragon gone. The last one's in my hand. Which means I can't use its effect. But Flying Kamikiri can definitely use its effect. Alright, Flying Kamikiri, time to put you to work. I would like... I can get a lot of dragons. I want the Grey Wing. Grey Wing is strong and can attack twice. Which I like. Now, discarding a card might suck sometimes, but sometimes discarding a card is useful. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to set Morphing Jar. We're going to activate Mountain, making us stronger than our opponent. Because look, we have 15 plus 4, thanks to Big Bang Shot. 1900 attack points, that Axe re Wielder, whatever. The Axe card is gone. I'm going to set Giant True Neck because we're probably still going to need it. I'm going to activate Grey Wing's effect. By getting rid of my last troop dragon, I can now destroy Joey's entire field. So as long as he doesn't draw Zombira the Dark, a fusion monster, or possibly Goblin Attack Force, I should be fine. The scariest of all those would be a fusion monster, but I have Toriental Tribute for an emergency. I wouldn't use it because I want I want Morphing Jar's effect to activate. I have no hand. I, that's the whole reason I set that Morphing Jar. So there we go. I got rid of his whole field. Joey, figure something out. And I can still giant true nade and stuff, so we'll see. Another baby dra- Ah, oh, he's gonna force my freaking Morphe jar this turn. Not good for me, because that means he gets a whole new hand early. And he could use it on me, like trap cards and, sh and stuff. Okay, he lost a bunch of spells. I don't know what spells he was hiding from me, but he oh, but he gained some traps. That's a problem. Yeah, that, that might be too big of a problem for me to want to deal with it. So I'm going to activate Giant True Nade. Mmm, good trap, good trap. Alright, lucky you, Joey. Alright, well, I also have... Uh, not many more options, actually. Huh. Alright, I'm going to summon the Mystic Tomato. And thanks to Mystic Tomato... Okay, it's gone. And it's gone. Alright, well then, I'm still going to do some damage this turn, because I activate Grey Wing's effect yet again. By getting rid of my Luster Dragon number 2, I don't need it right now. I have 2 anyway. I'm going to attack twice this turn. So, Joey, you're putting up a fight. You're making me stress a little bit. Like, I'm not losing in any way, but you're making me throw away more and more cards. All you need is one good goblin attack force, and I force to activate my only trap card. Time wizard. You know what? Go ahead, Joey. Let me let me let me at least give you a shot. Ha ha! That's why you give Joey a shot. He was unlucky in my tournaments, and he's unlucky here. And heavy storm, broken card. I'm gonna go ahead and summon the luster dragon. And with that, I won the duel, mostly because of my gray wings effect. Oh, whoops. I do not want to activate a spell or trap card. I would like to activate Grey Wing's effect. By getting rid of my last monster card, which I don't even need, I win the duel. And this is why I like Grey Wing. 
Gonna do some double attacks. There you go. There you go. And Luster Dragon. There you go. I've dealt with Joey Wheeler. I'm feeling good about that. Feeling like a champ. Usually Joe is more of a threat, but I guess my deck's just too well built. Having the dragon work together is nice. Man, you must be the you are you you could I gave you a chance with Time Wizard and you still failed. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna take a little nap. I'm a little tired. Yeah, let's just take a nap. I might be skipping days here and there, guys, just to see if we can get new people to show up. No, no other reason. All right, let's see. No, it's been a while since I... Well, let's check the card shop real quick. Obviously, I'm not... Whoa. Obviously, I'm not going to buy anything unless I see, like, Oh, my God, this is amazing. But, yeah, it seems like Wednesdays are the days to go card shopping. Wednesdays are the days. Uh, let me just duel a random lady. Why not? It's been a while. I keep dueling main characters like they're all that. But let's duel a random person. See if they've been proved since the last time I've dueled them. Apparently, they're supposed to improve as you get farther in the game. So, it's possible that they got better. Spear Dragon, you're pretty good. I'm going to set Flying Kamakiri. Happen to start with two trap cards, which is great. Seven tools is amazing. And Torrental Tribute will do the job if she summons something powerful. No, that's not a problem. She can keep that. You 100% can keep that monster for all I care. And with that, I'm going to special summon a new monster to the field. And its name is... Son of a bitch, I don't really have much. Give me another flying Kamakiri. Alright, nope, I end my turn there. I mean, you end your turn there. Damn it, she has a trap. Oh wait, I have seven tools, we're fine. Alright, I'm gonna draw a new card. Dragon, dragon. I'm gonna go with Grey Wing. Being able to attack twice is just too good to pass up. Nope, sorry guys, I got a call. That was just a telemarketer, everybody. We can continue now. Let's see. Trap hole. What the heck? Think I'm going to let you kill my most powerful monster, the Grey Wing? That could do 2,600 damage in one turn? Heck no, I'm not going to let you do that. I'll pay 1,000 to do 25 technically. Or, yeah, 2,700 damage technically. And sure. It costs me a monster from my hand. But if I ever draw Premature Burial, it's not really a cost, is it? Alright, let's go ahead and go in. So, Flying Kamikiri, luckily, is just strong enough to take on the Ghost. And then the Grey Wing, who could not defeat the Ghost, it would it would crash for it, is now going to attack twice, which is great. Yeah, I'll call it the Great Wing. The Blue Eyes Great Dragon. Alright, Grey Wing, great job. Now we'll just wait. Grey Wing looks like it's a, supposed to be an insect monster, or at least a mix. It's like insect with the little dragon in there. Oh, one of your more powerful cards. Okay. No, no, no. Go ahead. Please don't attack Grey Wing, you dick. Ah, you dick. This is why you save one of your stronger dragons in your hand, in case your opponent does happen to have one of the bigger monsters. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Hell yeah. I'm going to go ahead and summon a Luster Dragon. Just a nice beat stick monster. Very hard to overcome. 1900 damage should do it for me. There we go. And then I'm going to throw in a couple 14. You're lucky you destroyed my Grey Wing. I could have probably won this turn if you didn't. If you kill Flying Kamikiri, I summon another one. That's 14 plus 26. That's 4,000 damage. You would have lived, actually. Barely. Baron? Oh, no. My monster. Whatever. No, I know. It does not matter. She kills Baron. I summon another Flying Kamikiri. The cycle repeats itself. Unless she had an equip spell or a powerful trap, this is kind of over. Yeah, my last flying Kamakiri. Alright, I draw. Troop Dragon, alright, cool. I'm gonna summon the Spear Dragon. I have Troop Dragon, Spear Dragon, Luster Dragon, and Blue Eyes White Dragon. I have all these dragon cards. Like cra I have crazy amounts. Uh, you go first. Destroy that card. And with my last two, I should be able to destroy your life points. Except, in fact, barely. <laughs> I will barely be able to destroy your life points. Heck yeah! So the random people around town, they're actually halfway decent. They're not the worst duelists in the world. I gotta give them a little more credit after all. 
Uh, let's see here. Eh, they don't make. I don't make much money off them though. I'm gonna have to figure something out. You did your best. Good job, kid. Good job. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. It's time for a schnooze. Every time I win a duel, I deserve to schnooze. That way, if the game freezes, I don't lose any save data or anything like that. The game is saving. Yay! Sunday! Alright, who wants to duel on a Sunday? I'm thinking... I don't know. Let's go over here. Anybody in here want to duel on a Sunday? No one's here? Okay. What about any cool people hanging out at the Coliseum? Should be a tournament going on, right? Can I, can I go check on the tourney? No? Okay. I already know all these people. Hmm. No new people have popped into town in a while. Oh, there's Bacora. I haven't done Bacora in a while. I could try Bacora. Let me just check real quick. I know Wednesday's the day to check, but let's just leave it at this. Alright. Yeah, let's fight Bacora. It's been a while, buddy. You're a pretty good duelist. You got a zombie deck and fiend deck in this game. You used to only have a fiend deck, but they gave you zombie cards in the future. I mean, in, in all the old games, because they, they don't want to put bones in the game. If they put bones in the game, we'd have a zombie user. But when they don't put bones in the game, they just give Bacora bones as cards. Alright, a draw, troop dragon, spear dragon, luster, and the twelving, the dwelling dragon. Perfect hand. Literally perfect hand. There's nothing he could do to stop me. That's one of his stronger zombie cards, and that's one of his better spell cards. Okay. I misspoke. Oh, wow, we're doing this, eh? Well, unless I see Big Bang Shot, none of this really scares me. Yep, good, good job. Good turn, good turn. I'm just gonna sit here. I'm gonna start building a wall. Here, I activate swords. Obviously, I could heavy storm him, but it's fine. I, I want him to build just like I do. We're both gonna... I'm gonna get blue eyes out. I'm gonna summon no cool blue eyes. And what is he gonna summon? Nothing. Because not even his dragon zombie double buff can beat a blue eyes. Card destruction, you dick. Ooh, Senju does not... Ooh, okay, wait, wait. Now he can beat a blue eyes. Luckily, I played swords before that card destruction came. Ooh. Yeah... All right, let me build some turns first. Send you get on the field. I want to see if I can draw the Paladin card. If I can't, I can, but I'm trying. The spell card, that is. Blue Eyes. I don't really want to lose that either. I'm going to set you. Yeah, now that I've lost Heavy Storm, I'm in trouble. That was a big loss. I was not expecting card destruction. Yeah, and don't get my Morphing Jar. All right, I can live without Send you for now. All right, well... I better draw a good card, because I'm in trouble. One Kamakiri, eh? I already have a troop dragon down there. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to summon more. I'm just going to set you. And I would flip no Morphine Jar, but at the same time, I would take a shit ton of damage if I do. So let's just let him kill me. Hmm. Should have used that. Oh my god! It has 4,000 attack. That thing can kill me. Ah, damn it. I'm going to run out of troop dragons. Oh, wait, nope, didn't destroy it. Okay, I'm not going to run out of troop dragons. Because I already threw, I mean, one's in my hand, so I can't do much with that. And it's going to be thrown away soon with Morphing Jar. I'm going to set another troop dragon. Alright, and I can't set a third, sadly. Let's see what we got here. Wow, I am so glad. I am so happy right now. You have no idea. I would love a monster with 4,000 attack points to be working for me. That just sounds like a great day. So 4,000 attack point monster, get on over here. Um, flying Kamakiri, get on up. And good old Morphing Jar, get on up. Let's see what we get. Ooh, okay. Ring of Destruction wins me the duel, basically. Okay. Megamorph would be nice too, but I can't really do much with that. Alright. Most damage I can do. You know, in case he draws Dark Hole, I'll summon Witch. I don't think I can win this turn unless. Hold up. What's the strongest card? 900 attack points? There's. Oh, wow. I can only do 200 damage to myself. So technically, I can't Megamorph my way to victory this turn. That's fine. If he had only summoned a better monster. 
Morphine Jar, why don't you go first? You could destroy the Maneater Bug. There we go. And then you can go next, Witch of the Black Forest, destroy his other monster. There we go. And then let's go in for the kill. Four thousand damage. I just stole this card. Granted, he could always snatch steal it back, but if he, even if he does, I have so many better cards in my hand now. And he can't card destruction me twice. That card's limited. For how good he is. All right. Oh wait, no, he can't anyway. I got ring of destruction. That's game. GG, Mister Man. Good try. It was cool to see a, a dragon zombie get to four thousand attack points. Uh, all those effects don't matter. You're you're, you're gonna take damage. Oh, okay, wait, wait for this to happen. Apparently, even if he's lost the duel, I could still lose the duel by Black Pendant. That's something in this game. The the activation timing on stuff is weird. You don't lose before things happen. It's it's very strange. Very strange. Alright. Oh, I lost. Yep, you study up. You study up, buddy. You study up. I'm gonna go shopping. That's probably not going to go shopping. I just want to check. Alright, we're all good here. Let's just continue to sleep. I'm tired. I'm very weary after all. Alright, let's see what we got here. I could fight the dog. That would be kind of fun. Let's Let's fight the dog. You know what? Let's, let's wait. Ah, oh, band card. Yep. The week has changed, which means so must my deck. What are, what's banned? Oh, shit. Alright, let's edit the deck, because there's a lot. Alright, deck number eight. Yeah, I know, I've made eight decks now. That's crazy. You go away. You go Wow, swords got banned? Damn. Witch getting banned is going to be rough. Band is going to be rough on me. Snatch deal? That's fine, honestly. Whew. Ooh, ring of destruction. There goes all my damage. Damn it. Alright, well, let's make it up. Let's see what spell cards are now unbanned. Maybe Monster Reborn? That'd be great for this deck. Alright, we got Mountain. Raigeki's unbanned? Oh, that's gonna ruin this game. Raigeki being unbanned is rough. Monster Reborn still banned. Pot of Greed's unbanned, okay. Change of Heart, wow. Raigeki and Change of Heart being unbanned is going to really make this game harder. Uh, before I do anything, I was thinking Upstart, but before that, let me see if Mirror Force is still banned. It's not. Ooh, this is going to be a rough week. Some of the best cards in the game are unbanned, so let's see if the dogs got it in them. This whole week of dueling is going to be real rough. But Cooper, you also have the broken cards. It doesn't matter. You don't want to lose to an AI. I think I have five losses in total, and it's been a lot of episodes so far. Okay, just playing defensively. Spear Dragon, come on. Damn. Oh, Big Bang Shot. You know what? That's basically Spear Dragon. I'll take it. And I have two of the four cards I need to make the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. It's going to be rough getting the other two, but hell, if I can pull it off, that'd be awesome. Big Bang Shot, let's get to work. Now, even if he did play a tanky monster, which... I guess there's, like, Skull Dog Marin. That's a tanky card. But other than that, there's not much. Enrage Battle Ox, an amazing monster card. Great for any Beast, Beast Warrior, or Wing Beast deck. Mm, more set cards, okay. I draw. Flying Kamakiri, good tactical card. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to go ahead and summon one of these. I got Big Bang Shot on my Luster, so of course Luster's going in. Any weak monsters is going to get him killed, even if it's like Penguins. So, ooh, Maneater Bug. You know what? If you want to kill my Flying Kamikiri because your AI is programmed to do that, go ahead. I would have killed my monster unless you're carrying an MST or something. Gaia Power. Wow. Luckily for me, that's going to hurt him, because not only is my Luster Dragon strong enough to hold it back, but that, cow that card weakens his Earth Monster's defense, which means my Big Bang Shot's going to be even more effective. So, yeah, unless he summons a monster with at least 1,800 attack, he can't do much. 
Wolf now has 400 defense, which means I basically did all the damage. I did my monster's damage, attack damage. Twice now. Luster Dragon number two is going in. Oh my god. And I actually meant my second Luster Dragon, not the fact that its name was Luster Dragon number two. Ignore that. Alright, let's see. And he gives up. Alright, Pupper, you did your best. You did your best. I gotta give you some credit. I'm gonna beat you with the blue eyes of the white dragon just to show you my appreciation of your skill. This is my way of saying I respect you. This is my strongest card, not counting my fusion. So let's see if you can handle it. Blue eyes, go! Yeah. I did it. Alright, we beat up a pupper. Sucks to be the pup, but it's okay. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take a snooze, and then uh, probably check out the show. Ah, crap, it'll be Tuesday. You know what, let's take double snooze. We'll take a double snooze. Tuesday's for sleeping anyway. Nope, I want to sleep. Nope, don't want a card trade. Don't have any friends right now. They're all in their own homes, probably training their, uh, building their own decks. Mario always loves to stick with the same deck, but he builds upon it, builds upon it, builds upon it. And you know what? It's working more this season, so I gotta give him credit. Vidal's been trying to change his deck, but he hasn't had as much time, so I'm not gonna blame him on that one. Uh, Arturo's been doing really good decks. Uh, Steven's been doing the best decks in terms of creativity, and Wookiee's been doing some pretty good decks, too. That's probably why they're top four. Alright, let's see. What can I buy today? Teya's packs up. Joey's... Jo 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 Yugi, Kaiba, okay. So the four starter decks, basically. Sucks that Tristan doesn't get one, but you know what? No one cares about Tristan. People actually like Taya, including myself. Alright, we're gonna get some Dark Collection, because why the hell not? The Super Monster Pack, because it's the best pack in the game so far that I've noticed. I'm running out of money, I've noticed as well, so I'm gonna be careful here. The cards I want... I'll buy one Warrior Pack. The cards I want are Dark Magician Girl and Cyber Harpy Lady and Elegant Egotist. It's not easy to get these cards, but they're the cards I want. So let's see what we can get, guys. Relinquish! Whoa! Whoa! That's good. Another Big Bang Shot. Wow, that's amazing. That's super good. Okay, we got amazing cards from Mai's pack. Yugi, can you hold? Uh, can you hold up to that? I mean, can can you show me some good cards? Another enraged but Manju! Ooh, Manju of the 10,000 hands is amazing for the deck I'm currently using. Okay, what about Warriors? Sunbira, Goblin, Attack Force. Good cards. Uh, what about Dark Monsters? Anything good from the Dark Pack? Gravekeeper's Guard is good. I count that. Crass Clown, I personally like. Not in this game, though. They bur they nerf Crass Clown in this game. But other games, I like it more. 13th Grave, Barox, Lesser Fiend. Mm, Pitch Dark Dragon. This magician, Jinzo, yeah, I gotta love Jinzo number seven. It's not the actual Jinzo though, so that's a shame. All right, what about Super Monsters? Pyramid Turtle, yeah, Pyramid Turtle. I just need more zombies now. I don't, I don't know where the hell to get them. Fiend Mega Cyber, Silphid, Sukiyomi, Flying Kamikaze already have. Bubonic Vermin's really good. Suso, okay, okay, we got some, we got some good stuff today, guys. And that's gonna be it though. I want to thank you all for watching. Next episode, I'll probably add Manju to the deck, but uh, yeah, see you then.